Hey, thanks once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. We just got some quail eggs and a variety of quail eggs from K. Del Caternix in Ohio. So special shout out to K. Del Caternix. Thanks for this shipment. It's kind of heavy. I have no idea how many eggs are in here. Either way, we're going to try to get them all into this incubator right here. This is the Trio Cottage mini egg incubator. Got it not too long ago off of eBay. Wasn't too much money. So let's get started. We're going to get these eggs incubated. I'm going to keep you updated on the progress. All right, we're going to start off by getting this box open and seeing what we have inside. Let's see. Very carefully packaged. And there's something on top. What could this be? All right. We've got the bill of sale. MPIP certified, folks. I'm gonna put that to the side. Oh yeah. We've got some eggs. A whole lot of eggs. We've got 18 eggs on this first layer. I'm going to take these out and inspect these. Get them in the incubator. That's 18. I think we got an even 36 in here. Exactly what I asked for. Maybe even some more, hold on. I think there's more in here. Here's another 18. These are really good looking eggs. I like it. All shipped properly, pointy side down and another 18 eggs. We're gonna to try to get all of these in the incubator. Another 18. All right, I'm gonna put the box to the side, get these things inspected and in the incubator. These are really good looking clean eggs. And I have so many of them that I'm gonna remove the turner all together and just pop them in here one by one. All right, so in my incubator, the alarm will go off if the temp goes down below a certain point. I have it set that way. I think it's a good thing. But you can turn it off by pressing the settings button. So we've got five eggs that all come out good so far. Number six. Seven, eight, and nine are all doing great as well. I think we might actually have enough space for all of these eggs. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, folks, you got to see this one. Take a look at this egg. Pretty nice. All 
All right. I think we're running at 100% success rate with this first layer. Which was actually the third layer, last one that I took out. I'll put this to the side. I'm just trusting that these eggs are good because I've had so many so far that have been flawless. Three more perfect eggs. And again, at this point, I'm convinced that I can fit all of these eggs into this tiny incubator as long as I turn them myself because there's no way that these would fit with the turner that was included. I mean, it's a good feature, but if you want to use your incubator to incubate more eggs, I would suggest just turning them by hand. You do it two or three times a day, your eggs will be fine. Your automatic turner will do it every hour or two hours, depending on what you set it for. These eggs are perfect. More perfection. Ooh, it's a big one. I think all of these eggs are good. This will be the first time I got a shipment of eggs in that were 100%. Nothing cracked, nothing questionable, nothing filthy about these eggs. We've got six more. And oh my goodness, folks, look at that. We have a 100% undamaged rate on these eggs that were shipped in from K. Del Caternix. Again, thank you to K. Del Caternix for this wonderful shipment of eggs. I'm gonna get the packaging out of the way. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of humidity to this. And this time around, I'm gonna use small dosage cups for the humidity. Put some water in here. That way I won't have water down in the wells. I'm gonna try that out. And we'll be able to control the humidity with no problem just by removing or adding water. All right, so now I have water. I'm gonna put that in here. Again, I'm only doing this to make sure that I can control the humidity simply by taking the water out or putting more water in. I'm gonna close the lid on my incubator. And again, we're not using the turner this time because we have so many eggs and the turner wouldn't fit into the equation. So I'm gonna close this up. And I'm going to come back and monitor 
the heat and humidity. When I say I'm gonna close it up, I'm gonna close it up. A lot of people get this incubator and forget to keep the styrofoam that goes around it. That's one of the most important parts because you're using that as insulation. So if you do end up getting this particular incubator, which there's a link for below in the description, make sure to keep the styrofoam that goes around it. That's your layer of insulation right there. So now we have the eggs in the incubator. We have 19 days for these eggs before they hatch. At least that's the timer. We're gonna set a timer on these eggs. Again, I'm gonna keep you updated as to what's going on. Hey, you know what? Let's take a closer look at this incubator. All right, so my incubator has a couple of different features. As you can see right here, it has an egg candler, and then there's the control for that. Here is the temperature gauge. This particular model doesn't have a humidity setting, so I keep a hygrometer in there. And you know what? It doesn't look like I'll be able to fit one in there this time, but usually I get a good idea of where the humidity is just by opening it. Uh, here we have the settings button, and we have the up and down controls for the settings. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. I like this incubator. We open it up. Oh, and side note, you wanna put the styrofoam on before you plug it in. And there's all of our eggs. We have our two little tiny cups of water. I'm gonna come back and turn these eggs two to four times every day. Keep an eye on them, the temperature and the humidity. And we're gonna see what we end up with from K. Del Caternix. Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Caternix. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. We're always coming back with more videos. Thank you once again from New York Caternix.